Hi, my name is Leanna Westerman, and today I'll be teaching you how to play the glass harp. There's three things I'll be covering in this video. The first one, I'll teach you how to get a sound out of the glass. Next, I'll teach you how to tune each glass. And then lastly, I will finish the tutorial with a song. So there's a few things you'll need for this tutorial. One, you'll need wine glasses. And if you want to follow along with the song at the end of this tutorial, you'll need five wine glasses. And you need the wine glasses that have this stem. Another thing you'll need is water, and you'll need plenty of it. It's to fill each wine glass in the tuning process and to keep wetting your fingers. The next thing is optional, but it, uh, a syringe would be a good idea. This is when you get to the fine tuning. And lastly, you'll need a tuner of some sort. The first thing I'm going to teach you is how to get an initial sound out of your wine glass. What you're going to do is you're going to start off by taking your finger and putting it in water. And then using the area just below your first knuckle, rub that area up against the rim of the wine glass until you get a really nice ringing sound. This is rather difficult and will take a lot of practice, but here's some tips that will hopefully help. One tip that really helped me was understanding how this process works. If you look at your finger, you have ridges, and these ridges are what make up your fingerprints. However, in the area right below your first knuckle, these go more in a straight line rather than a circle or a swirl or an arch. Since they're straight and go the same direction, it creates a more consistent, stronger friction and vibration, and therefore it creates a beautiful sound. Um, another tip to think about is um, pressure. If you're not getting a sound, Try pushing a little bit harder. But if you're pushing too hard, you'll get this sound. And your wine glass will shake all over the place. Um, if that happens, just ease up until you get a nice sound. A third thing to think about it is the amount of water you have in your wine glass. Sometimes it's harder to play when it's totally empty. So maybe add a little bit more water or wet the inside of your wine glass. This could help the vibrations travel through the glass a little bit easier. But you just have to experiment and uh, try different things until you get the sound. So the next thing I'm going to teach you is how to tune each wine glass. What you want to do to start is take an empty wine glass, take your tuner, play it and see which note it's closest to when empty. If you look at the tuner, it's very close to a G-flat or an F-sharp. And the way this works is the more water you have in the wine glass, the lower the pitch. But if you remove water, you're going to raise the pitch. So since this is a very sharp G-flat, you want to add some water. And it's almost in tune. If you look, it's a little sharp. So if you want to be really nitpicky, that's when you can take your syringe and just add little amounts of water to gradually bring the pitch to where you need it to be for that note. And now it's in tune. You want to do this for all five wine glasses, and for that song at the end of this tutorial, you'll need the notes D, E, F sharp, G, and A. So the last thing I'm going to teach you in this tutorial is how to play a song. And the song I'm going to teach you is the chorus to Jingle Bells. I've divided this, section, this uh, song up into four sections so it's easier to learn and follow along. And each of the sections, the notes, I have written on the bottom of the screen. Once you have each of your five notes, you want to line them up as so. So D, E, F sharp, G, and A. A normal glass harp with three octaves would be lined up as shown in a uh, picture. Um, however, since we're only using five notes, it's best just to line them up all together like this. So, here goes the first section. I'll play each section uh, slowly, and then at the end, I'll put it all together. So here comes the first section. The next section. And the third section. And the fourth section. And now I'll put it all together.
hope you enjoyed this tutorial and thank you so much for watching.